Hello. Today we're diving into a topic that affects millions of people worldwide, arthritis. If you or someone you know is suffering from chronic pain, inflammation, and stiffness that comes with arthritis, this video is for you. We're going to explore how cannabis, specifically different cannabinoids, can help manage arthritis symptoms. And yes, we're backing it up with real science. Before we get started, please note that Miriam's Hemp does not give or substitute for medical advice. Miriam's Hemp specifically invokes the First Amendment rights of freedom of speech and of the press without prejudice. Any statements made in this video have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Any products discussed are not intended to diagnose, cure, prevent, or treat any disease. Miriam Simp always recommends, when and wherever possible, that licensed local healthcare professionals be consulted. First up, let's talk about CBD, or cannabidiol, one of the most well-known cannabinoids in existence. CBD interacts with your body's endocannabinoid system to help reduce inflammation and relieve pain. In fact, a study published in the European Journal of Pain in 2016 showed that when CBD was applied topically to rats with arthritis, it significantly reduced pain and inflammation. And it doesn't stop there. Another study from 2017 published in Pain found that CBD helped improve joint mobility in animal models of arthritis. So if you're looking for relief from pain and inflammation, CBD may be a good option to explore. Now let's talk about THC, tetrahydrocannabinol. There's a lot more to THC than just its psychoactive effects. When it comes to managing arthritis symptoms, THC plays a key role, especially in whole plant full spectrum products. Full-spectrum cannabis products contain a range of cannabinoids, including small amounts of THC. While THC alone has been shown to offer pain relief and anti-inflammatory benefits, when combined with other cannabinoids and terpenes in the plant, it creates what we call the entourage effect. This means all the compounds in the plant work together synergistically to enhance the overall therapeutic benefits of cannabinoids. A 2011 study published in the British Journal of Pharmacology explains that this entourage effect amplifies the anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects of THC and other cannabinoids like CBD, CBG, and CBC. If you're using full-spectrum or whole plant products, you're getting THC along with a host of other cannabinoids and terpenes all working together to provide comprehensive relief. This is especially important for those managing conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis where both pain and inflammation are key concerns. So the next time you pick up a full spectrum product, know that THC is playing its part even in small amounts and enhancing the benefits of the entire formula. You're getting much more than a single cannabinoid at work you're getting a whole plant solution. CBG or cannabigerol may reduce the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which are signaling molecules that promote inflammation. This could help in reducing joint inflammation associated in both rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. CBC or cannabichromine has also been shown to reduce pain and inflammation associated with osteoarthritis in rats without the negative side effects of NSAID painkillers. Research suggests CBC in combination with THC had a significant anti-inflammatory response as demonstrated in a 2010 animal study. Together, the two cannabinoids produced a much greater effect on inflammation than by themselves. Taking CBC for inflammation is one of the best established uses for this cannabinoid. All right, to wrap things up, 
CBD, THC, CBG, and CBC all offer unique benefits for managing arthritis. While more research is needed, the current research results are promising. Always consult a healthcare professional before adding cannabis to your daily regimen, especially to find the right dosage and cannabinoid combination that works for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments if you've tried cannabis for arthritis. We'd love to hear your experiences. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious and take care. Bye-bye.